What does it actually mean to be calm? Is it about being perfectly still, like a robot? Or is it something else? Something a little messier and a lot more alive? We live in a world where technology promises perfection. AI can write our emails, drive our cars, and optimize our health. But can it really master the most fundamental human experience of all, our breath? So we set up a little contest. We challenged an advanced AI that can hold a perfect breathing pattern for hours on end against a regular human. We thought we might find the secret to peak performance. But what we actually found was a shocking truth that separates the living from the programmed. And it reveals why your imperfections might just be your greatest superpower. In one corner we have our human contender, Alex. Alex isn't a Zen master or a champion freediver. He's just a normal guy who juggles work, life, and all the stress that comes with it. He's tried some breath work and he tries to stay healthy, but he is by all measures perfectly human. And then the other corner we have Aura, our AI challenger. Aura isn't a physical robot. It's a sophisticated piece of code designed to follow breathing exercises with flawless precision. It can hold a perfect rhythm forever with no fatigue, no distractions, and zero emotion. It is the very picture of programmed perfection. The challenge seems simple. We'll guide both Alex and Aura through two different breathing exercises. But we're not just measuring who can follow instructions better. We're measuring who can achieve a genuine state of physiological calm. To do that, we're tracking three things. First, respiratory rate. Basically, how many breaths they take per minute. We expect our AI, Aura, to be a flawless metronome here. Second, and this is the most important one, heart rate variability, or HRV. Now, HRV isn't your heart rate. It's the tiny millisecond differences in time between each heartbeat. A high, steady HRV is a huge indicator of a balanced and resilient nervous system. It's the signature of true calm. Think of it this way. When your HRV is high, your body is in rest and recover mode. When it's low and chaotic, you're stuck in fight or flight. And third, we have subjective experience. Alex will tell us how he's feeling, his focus, his sense of calm. This is something our AI aura simply can't do. It has no inner world. It has no consciousness, no feelings. It can process data, but it can't experience anything. And that difference is everything. Our first test is a classic, box breathing. Navy SEALs use this to stay calm under extreme pressure. It's simple. You inhale for four seconds, hold for four, exhale for four, and hold for four. A perfect square. We start the clock. On screen, you can see Aura's data immediately lock in. Its breathing rate is exact. Its simulated HRV graph, which is a mathematical model of what perfect calm looks like, begins to form a beautiful smooth wave. It's the definition of mechanical perfection. Consistent, predictable, unwavering. For a second, you think, how can the human possibly win? Why wouldn't we want that? Now let's look at Alex. His breathing is close, but it isn't perfect. There's a little waver here, an extra half second there. His HRV is getting smoother and more orderly for sure, but there are still tiny chaotic spikes that Aura's data just doesn't have. His heart and lungs are getting in sync, but it's a human sink, organic and fluid, not rigid and programmed. After five minutes, the results for round one are in. For pure consistency, Aura is the hands-down winner. It followed the rules with zero mistakes. Alex was about 96% consistent. So, if this was just a contest of machine-like precision, the story would end right here. But the real test, the one that changes everything, is coming up next. Life isn't a quiet room, it's unpredictable. A stressful email pops up, someone cuts you off in traffic, a loud noise shatters your focus. A machine doesn't care about any of that. An algorithm feels nothing, but a human being, our nervous systems, are built to react. 
So for round two, we're going to introduce a little chaos. Alex and Aura will continue with a simple, deep breathing rhythm, but partway through we're going to hit them with a sudden, loud, unexpected sound. This is where the real contest begins. This is the test of adaptability. The breathing starts. Both settle into a calm rhythm. Then it happens. A loud crash. Look at Aura's data. Nothing. Not a single thing changes. Its breathing is still locked in. Its perfect HRV wave continues without a ripple. It registered the sound as a data point, but it had no response. It felt no shock, no stress, and no need to recover. It was just ignorant. Now look at Alex. A jolt shoots through his system. His breath hitches. His HRV graph explodes into a jagged, chaotic mess. A clear sign his fight-or-flight response just kicked in. His body did exactly what it was supposed to do, react to a potential threat. It's a moment of total imperfection, a pure, unfiltered human response. For a second, it looks like he's lost. His calm is shattered. The machine is unfazed while the human is completely flustered. But then something incredible happens. Watch this. Alex takes a deep breath in through his nose, and then right at the top, he sniffs in a second short burst of air, packing his lungs completely. Then he lets out a long, slow, controlled exhale through his mouth. He just performed a physiological sigh. This isn't just a random gasp. As neuroscientists like Stanford's Andrew Huberman have explained, the physiological sigh is the body's fastest built-in tool for slamming the brakes on stress. That double inhale pops open the millions of tiny air sacs in your lungs, allowing you to offload a massive amount of carbon dioxide, which instantly tells your nervous system to calm down. Alex does it once, then a second time. And look at his screen. The jagged, chaotic HRV pattern starts to smooth out. Within 30 seconds, his HRV isn't just back to where it was, it's even more calm and coherent than before the noise. He didn't just go back to normal, he adapted, took control, and found an even deeper state of calm. So, what did we just see? The AI won on consistency. It was perfect. But its perfection was brittle. It was the perfection of a machine that can only do what it's programmed to do. It can't adapt to something it wasn't expecting. It has intelligence, but no awareness. It has logic, but no life. Alex, the human, was imperfect. He got startled. His body was thrown into chaos. But in that moment of imperfection, he showed us the defining feature of all living things, adaptability. His brain and body, talking to each other, felt the stress and immediately used a powerful biological tool to handle it. That is the mind-body connection in real time. The AI's calm was a simulation. Alex's calm was earned. The secret isn't that we're flawed. It's that our flaws, our ability to get knocked off balance and then find our way back, are our real strength. True resilience isn't about never feeling stress. It's about how fast you recover from it. Aura showed perfect stability. Alex showed true resilience. An AI runs on logic. A human runs on a messy, beautiful mix of logic, emotion, intuition, and a deep wisdom that's been evolving for millions of years. An AI can be told how to breathe, but it can't feel the sweet relief of a long exhale. It can copy the pattern, but it will never understand the point. So what does this all mean for you? It means it's time to stop chasing robotic perfection. The goal isn't to become a machine that's immune to the messiness of life. The goal is to become a more skillful human, one who can navigate that mess with strength. Your breath is the remote control for your nervous system. You have the power, right now, to shift from stressed out to calm. You just watched Alex do it. Let's try it together. The same tool Alex used, the physiological sigh. You can do this anytime you feel that wave of stress rising. Ready? Take a long, deep inhale through your nose. Fill your belly, 
Fill your chest. Now at the very top, sneak in one more little sip of air through your nose. And now a long, slow, complete exhale through your mouth. Let everything go. Let's do one more. Deep inhale, one more sip at the top, and a long, slow exhale. Feel that? That is you, as a human, actively changing your own state. That's a power no AI will ever have. What we learned today is that the goal isn't the rigid, perfect consistency of a machine, but the dynamic, adaptive resilience of a human. Life is always going to throw things at you. The trick is to learn how to bend so you don't break. The next time you feel overwhelmed, don't wish the stress would just disappear. Remember that you have a biological superpower built right in to meet it head on. Just take a physiological sigh. If you want to learn more about the science-backed tools that can help you unlock your own human potential, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.